Welcome back guys. In this series of videos what I am going to talk to you about is how to get your schematic design into PCB if you are using ORCAD Capture and uh, we would be using the ORCAD PCB editor uh, light and uh, because that's what I have here but on the machines you have the full uh, version so there's no need to worry with the part numbers and stuff like that so just to refresh your memory about the circuit that we are going to use to create our PCB uh, it was the old one which we had discussed when we were doing the schematics I have just added one more page that has the barrel connector so that you can bring in power from a wall socket adapter and then supplied that power to the clock IC block which uh, needs power as well as the oscillator block that had the VCC so the changes are something like this the power supply blocks look like this the power connection comes into this barrel connector and after they have been decoupled they are taken out and uh, put on a line that's called the board power then the clock IC instead of the 5 volt now you have the board power and then in the oscillator block also instead of the board power you now have or rather instead of the 5 volts you have the board power so that we take our power from the uh, barrel connector so we are going to take this circuit into PCB so as you can see there are a couple of uh, different things for which we need to create the PCB footprints before we are able to start designing the PCB board so the PCB footprint is uh, nothing but a couple of uh, different pads through which you will be able to put the component on your board and then use the soldering iron and soldering wires to put solder on those pins and then attach them with the board and connect them to the rest of the circuit so we have to create the footprints now we will need to create the footprints in this particular circuit for the uh, clock oscillator then for the output we are connecting it to output blocks so we have to create the footprints for those then in the 8284 we have to create it for the actual 8284A then there is a capacitor or rather capacitors throughout the circuit we have to get footprints for those and then the switch we have to get the footprints for those and the resistor and then in power supply we have to get it for the barrel connector which we are using so I'll take you through the footprint creation of the 8284 and that should be a pointer for how to use the PCB editor to create footprints as well and you can follow that process and create the footprints for, for the rest of the devices so in the next video we are going to start create or creating the footprint for the 8284A device.